episode. Okay, so who, those who join late, you can just sign your attendance here. Uh, please make sure to sign here uh, because that's free attendance. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. So I added a character in my animate. So for your lab test, you have to animate something based on your question. You have to animate the scenario. For me, I'm just going to do go ahead and do this. Okay, and I'm going to add a new layer called audio because I'm going to add some audio to it. So here, what I'm going to do is on the keyframe two, okay, keyframe two, I'm going to add a new keyframe. Okay, uh, we'll see why I did this. So the first is a blank keyframe, and from the second, it's a whole keyframe. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Okay, second from second until three second, it's a full keyframe, and here in this keyframe, I'm gonna add an audio. So I have no audio in my library, so let's just go ahead uh, get some audio here. I think it's live. Okay. Yeah. So now I have a MP3 audio. So let's import this audio to this uh, thing properties sound fly. Okay. So now we have from frame two, we have sound and animation okay and then just put it repeat two because repeat one one point five two uh, it's okay uh, okay so from second frame we have the audio let's create another layer and call it buttons okay and let's create two different buttons one here and one here okay. and let's convert them to buttons convert symbol and button let's just hit symbol one is okay this one convert to symbol symbol two is okay what i'm trying to do is uh, for example let's say in your lab test you are asked to control the sound or you, you are asked to uh, have a button to play and pause or play and reset the audio or the animation yeah because we already have the how to use the button to play animation in tutorial two or something uh, you can go to youtube also uh, that one is very easy for this one i'm just gonna tweak a little bit and use sounds and uh, also the frames okay uh, let's so we have our two buttons here okay let's create another layer and call this action we're gonna put our codes here okay so that's for our action so let's go ahead right click actions okay code snippet and okay so the buttons are in frame two we want it on frame one okay okay so first we select this our first button uh which for which we're gonna do is uh navigation click to go to frame and play okay so what what we're going to do is hit two so in our first frame it's empty right the sound is empty so this what this button will do when you press it it's gonna go to keyframe 2 and it's gonna start playing where we have the animation and the sound as well so if we don't if in our current coding we don't have any stop function so usually it will just go to frame 2 automatically uh, without waiting for the button so what we need to do is go to action add a stop command here you can write stop small small letters here yeah? So what this will do, it will stop your animation on frame one. And this button will take your animation to frame two and it's gonna start playing with the music uh, or audio, whatever you call it, okay? Now, the problem with this is when you click the button, let's go ahead and test this and let's see if it's working or not. Okay, so because of the stop, the animation is stuck here on frame one and all our animating equipment elements audios everything is starting from keyframe 2 that's why we have uh, frame 1 empty on the audio so if we hit play you see it goes to frame 2 and it plays the animation and then comes back to our, our frame 1 when the animation is finished it's gonna loop back because we don't have any stop at the end it's gonna loop back and it's it's stuck at keyframe 1 so this is like press to play uh, kind of thing so right now the other button we need is we want to stop stop the audio okay so here the tree uh, the new thing comes in uh, let's go ahead and go actions and see what happens we select the second button okay we go ahead navigate uh, 
timeline go to frame and stop we say frame one okay let's hit let's test this one out okay it's going back to frame one So now you can see if I start and immediately say stop it goes to frame 2 okay it goes back uh, let's try it just again start stop. so you see it's going back to frame 2 and it's stopping the animation but the audio is still playing okay because uh, uh, this uh, command it just goes to uh, frame whatever frame you mentioned but it does not stop the audio so the audio will keep on playing Right now I have a small audio, but let's say you have a like three minute, a uh, two minute audio. So you hit back. It's gonna, it's not gonna stop playing. You go to a different scene. The audio will keep on playing. So what we want is we want to go to frame two, and at the same time we want to stop the audio as well. So to do that, we gotta add one more code to this. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, select this button. Okay. We go to action script, audio and video and click click to stop all sounds okay and this will add the whole code you don't need the whole code you can keep this uh, in this way it's gonna work or what you can do is you can just copy this part the sound mixer dot stop all okay you can cut this delete the, all the codings okay so this is our button two we have uh, the action is go to and stop on frame one and we will add this inside as well sound mixer stop all Okay, let's try it now. Control test. So we play. You see? When I click this, it goes back to frame two, also stops the sound. Okay. So this is important. So in your lab test you might have the option or you madam might ask you to have a lip sync or a animation that starts playing with a button and then a button to stop it. So this is one way of doing it. Of, of course, there are other ways uh, you can look up yourself, but this is one of one of the ways, and it's quite easy. So you have to all you have to do is uh, one of the codes will be to stop at frame one, where you have everything still. From frame two, you add your audio and everything. Uh, you have a button that goes to go to and play frame two. Okay, it starts from keyframe two and it starts playing. And there are one more button for stopping and going back to frame 2 so it says go to and stop and it goes back to frame 1 or keyframe 1 and this code is sound mixer dot stop all it's gonna stop the audio okay uh, this uh, trick is very simple as you can see it's just two three line code but this might come in handy when you're doing your lab test okay but yeah uh, it depends on madam if she's still depending on the question uh, what she described me if she's still going with that kind of question uh, this kind of button technique will help you okay uh, I think I don't want to make the class long because I don't have internet I'm using my phone's data okay I'm just gonna give the attendance sheet one more time okay not to share I'm just gonna give the attendance link one more time please sign your attendance okay and if you have any question with your lab test or your assignment your your final project you can stay and ask me and if you have no question and you have signed your attendance uh, you can leave thank you very much for joining assalamu alaikum uh, brother